Jeffreephotographyonline.com coming out with you with a new video today. Today we are going to edit one of my photos from a recent photo shoot that I did. I'm going to show you the exact process and how I edit these this photo from white balance to color correction, everything you need to know all within a span of about 10 minutes. So let's get started. But before I get started, I'd like to tell you that I need you guys to like, subscribe, and comment down below. It keeps me going. And let's get started into the video. And now we are in Light Adobe Lightroom. This is the most current version of Adobe Lightroom CC as of June 2019. So I have this picture on screen here. This is a picture of a photo shoot that I did a little while back. Okay, and first thing I want to show you guys is I want to show you guys that this is a perfectly within the rule of thirds because if you look at the screen right here the eye comes down right through that, that rule of thirds line it's in the second half of the photo so we're going to start um, editing this picture right here first thing I like to do is I go over to the white balance here and we're just going to put it with some white balance we're going to we'll go ahead and we're going to do an auto white balance to see what that looks like um, face is a little too light there, I think. Well, let's go ahead and try the eyedropper and see what that looks like. Let's take an eyedropper. Let's white balance it out there. Yeah, that's a little bit more of a natural uh, look. It is um, under custom white balance. So basically, all I did was take the eyedropper and I put it over the the white of her eye and I clicked on it and we can do it again um, that is a little that is that is good um for now she's got a nice um nice olive toned skin so and she and the makeup that the uh, makeup artist did was really good so this is actually going to be a really easy photo for me to edit okay so once the white balance is done we're going to go right to the exposure now I like to play with the sliders here we're going to bring the exposure up just a little bit as you can see I'm looking for that little white circle in the eye perfect focus perfect focus so we're going to go into that we're going to bump it up to 45 I'm going to bring in a lot of contrast. I love contrast. Now you see her, her skin is kind of turning orange. So we're going to go into the white balance and we're going to play with that until we find a good mix here. A good mix. Uh, let's try the auto again. Let's see what the auto does to that. Actually, that actually makes it turn out good. So I'm going to stick with the auto white balance on this because it actually made her skin look quite good. Next thing I'm going to do is we're going to play with the highlight slider. We're going to go in and we're going to see that's a little too bright. So you start bring we'll bring it back. We'll bring it to let me see what it looks like when you bring it all the way up. See how all the her face starts to turn white. We don't want that. We want to do a nice mix of skin. We're just going to go very light touch on, a, let's see what it looks like if I turn it all the way out. And it starts to get darker, so we're just going to go in, we're going to do a maybe a plus four on the highlight slider. Now we're going to go down to the next slider, which is the shadow slider. I'm going to take this all the way up to see. So that brings out her hair up here which is nice because you've got dark hair on a dark background. So bring the shadows out. See if you slide them all the way back, you'll lose all that detail in her hair. So we're going to bring it up to about 85, 84, 85. That looks pretty good. Pretty, pretty good here. And we're going to go into the whites. We're going to kind of brighten up the image a little bit. We're going to brighten it up. Just not too much, not too much. We don't want to bring out the, too much white and we don't want to go back too far because this is if we go back too far kind of darkens that again. So we want to bring up the image because it is kind of a dark image. So we're going to bring it up maybe to a plus, plus 10 I think. Plus 10 will be good. 
good there. Okay, now we're going to go to our black slider. The black slider, let's show you what it does. Go all the way down, it's going to turn it all the way dark. You bring it up, it's going to turn her all the way white. Um, that doesn't look half bad. I'm going to take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back. We're going to do maybe like a plus 26 on the white black slider. We're going to take this little blacks out that we get a nice hairline and it's still separated from the back black background on there. So I'm going to um, go into the history panel and we are going to go back up to the top and show you what it looked like before. That's the before shot. And after the editing, that's my after shot right now. So next thing where we're going to go ahead and go through, uh, Lightroom has a, has a new tab. We're going to go through the texture and we're going to see what that does. Because that's something new. Oh, that is the softener. That's the soft. That is another way to do clarity. Um, yeah. See what happens if you go too deep into this, it's going to give her a soft tone in the photo, which could be your thing, could be your thing. It looks like a magazine shot there. So I'm going to just soften it up just a little bit, just a little bit, maybe like a minus 10 in that. So we still have the texture on the face, but we're also making sure it's not tough because we're going to go in here. And we're going to get rid of these spots that she has on her face here. These kind of like oil spots in here. You know, just a minute here. So that is the texture slider. It's going to make, you know, further you go into the negative, it's going to make it more blurry. Further you go into the positive, it's going to make it more, give you more um, of a, uh, of a grain to the photo. We don't want that. Okay. I'm not going to play around with the vibrant. Well, let's see what the vibrant slider can bring to the table. We can either make it all black and white, or we can make it really colorful. Um, maybe like a plus. Maybe like a plus ten. Plus twelve. We'll do a plus ten. Plus ten on the vibrance. We'll put a little vibrance into the photo. And we're going to go back to the original one, and we'll show you that plane. Now we just got to make this, we're gonna, we got that photo to pop now. That photo pops a little bit. The eye is nice and in focus. You have that nice little rim light that is in the eye itself. So let's move on. Okay, I don't usually mess with, in the, with the tone curve. Um, these are just basic things that I do within Lightroom. I don't mess with the tone curve. I don't mess with the h and SL color. I, do, I just do basic edits. To my photos, I don't want to I don't want to destroy the photo as much. You know, I don't want to do a lot of editing because I want it to be more or less a a natural photo. But as you can see, there's little spots in here, so we're going to take the we're going to take a adjustment brush, and I have some presets that I use. Um, if anyone would like to have these presets in their arsenal, please contact me via my email, which is at guthriephotographyonline.com, and I will be happy to share these presets with you. Because as far as I'm aware, these presets are not available anymore. You have a lot of presets here that are going to do a lot of things. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in. And we're going to get rid of some spots. So I think this is the tool here. No, nope. or this is the tool here. So we're going to take the brush, we're going to make it bigger, a little bigger, and we're just going to see what this does to get rid of those spots, get rid of those little spots in our face. Just keep on working, keep on working, keep on working. You know, there's a line right here, so we're going to. Try to get rid of the little lines and whatnot. Okay. And if you wanted to see where your tool has been, we're going to go. Uh, it'll show you where you've made your edits. So we're going to, you know, kind of fix this stuff here. 
you know, being careful not to do a whole hell of a lot because you can make this photo look fake. Actually, I'm going to back it up here. Yeah, we'll back it up right there. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And this dot here is telling you where it's sampling from. So it's telling you where you're pulling your samples from. So we're just going to clean up the face a little bit. A little dot there. Dot there. Click on that. Ah, oh, that one's fine. A little blemish there. Okay. I'm going to take off the overlay. See how it looks. We're going to zoom out because that's the most important thing to make sure it looks good when you zoom out. And it does. So let's go back to the beginning again and we'll show you where I started. So we've cleaned up the face a little bit. We've brightened up the picture a whole hell of a lot. So now I'm going to go into those presets I showed you on this side here. And we're going to go, we're going to go to the hair define preset. Now this preset's pretty cool because watch this, watch this. We're going to zoom up into the hair line and we are going to just this is going to be simple. We're going to make a big, nice big brush and we're just going to paint texture into our hair. It's going to add that texture, that nice, you know, texture that you'll see here. Okay. And you know what? These little strands here are really bothering me. So we're just going to get rid of those too as well. We're going to get rid of those strands. So we're going to go back to the healing brush tool here. I'm just going to click those out, click them out, click them out, click them out. And Lightroom does a really good job nowadays of saying, ah, that one didn't do as good. So we'll just leave that as like there. I'm just going to click these out, click them out. Do as much as you can. And these ones are the ones I'm concerned about right in here. The ones that are distracting. We also want to go up here and get the flyaway hairs out of the shot up here. Same thing with these down here. These are easy to do because she's got black hair on a black background. So we're just going to paint these away. That one didn't work as well. So we're going to move it, go back or step it back. Just kind of paint. I'm going to go out and see what that looks like. Not too bad, not too bad. I'm going to do some more work down here. Kind of clean up our neckline, the back of our neckline here. Clean that up. Eh, not liking what it's doing. Well, probably. Okay. Yep. That's the cool thing about Lightroom, guys, is if anything you don't like, you can kind of always go back and fix it. So I'm going to go back into the the hair define tool. And we're just going to continue. I'm going to get us grab a smaller brush here. Grab a smaller brush and continue to paint her hair in, paint paint over. Same thing down here. We're going to give it a nice. This gives it a nice texture. Helps to give it a nice texture, not. Not too, uh, not too bad. Not too much of texture, but it gives you nice texture. You have that nice white light on the on our top of her head right here. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the new, and we're also going to uh, do a little eye brighten. This is important to me. I gotta make sure the eyes look good. So we're just gonna make a nice little small bright brush here. We're gonna brighten. The eyes up just the brown parts just the brown parts in the eyes here just the brown parts just enough to bring it out just a little bit more I also want to go back to the the uh, hair define and we're going to give it a little texture to her eyebrows give it a little texture there give it a little more in there See how this is coming along, guys? Really, as long as you guys shoot raw, you guys will, she will never ever have any trouble 
with doing these beautiful edits on these photos. Now, if you guys shoot JPEG, there's no way that you would get this. I also, I'm gonna go into the lips now. We're gonna go down three to one. We're gonna zoom in really close on the lips. Okay. And we're going to do, hit new, and we're gonna do a lip enhance. This is gonna bring out some texture in the lips, make it less flat, darken them up just a little bit, just a little bit. We're gonna make this photo into a magazine cover here. Just a little bit. Like that, like that. Just paint. That's all you gotta do is paint. Okay, that is done. So we're gonna zoom out. And we're going to see what that looks like. We're going to do it off and it on. It adds just a little subtlety, little subtlety, which is fine, which is fine. So we're going to go out. We're going to go to the start of this, this tutorial. We're going to go back to the imported file, flat. And now we're going to go up to the current file that I have. Nice and bright, nice, nice, nice skin tones. Now, so this back area here, we can go through here and try to clean this up if we want to. Um, let's try it. Let's try the healing brush instead of the cloning tool. Let's see. We're going to go in. We're going to fill the frame. We're going to try to clean this up back here and see what it does. See if I like what it does. This kind of looks like her back of her neck is dirty. Yeah, I don't like that as much. So I'm gonna, like with Lightroom, you can always pull it back. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull it back just a little bit. And we're gonna try the clone tool again here. The clone brush. I'm gonna zoom in three to one on this. I'm gonna see if I can't get this out of here. See all these little hairs bugging the heck out of me. Let's see, Lightroom doesn't do a good job on some of these things. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that because I didn't like it. Um, that's something we're going to have to play around with in Photoshop to clean that back of her neck up. Um, now, I always take, I'm going to add a snapshot. We're going to add a snapshot. We're going to say color. And then I'm also going to do what I like to do with my photos when I give them to the models is I do a color version, which is this one. And then I um, go out and I go to the basic and I treat with black and white and we put a black and white photo in there. Now, and we're gonna take a snapshot of that one too. And what, DH, come on now, spell right. Black and white. And we're gonna hit create. Now you got your color and you have your black and white. Now, you can choose to continue to edit these two photos and these two photos it will stay the same. And you can go back and forth with um, color and black and white. Um, so let's, um, I want, next thing I wanna do is I want to, this is my basic edits that I do for these photos. I can go in really in depth depending on what I'm doing for the particular shoot, whether it be a magazine or not. This would be a basic edit that I would do for this photo using my presets, using my basic color treatments, using my black and whites. Um, really, it's this simple to edit a photo as long as you're shooting raw. It's really this simple, guys. You, you guys should never, ever, ever have to have to struggle as long as you're shooting raw. Because it, look, 
because let's go back. Let's go back to the beginning. Within about 15 minutes, I went from that, pulling the background out, that nice background, to this color here. Boom. Bright. Shows the texture of her hair. Shows everything. Now, there is some other stuff that I could possibly do to make this photo better. That's um, for another time in another tutorial. I don't want to make this too long. Uh, I don't know whether you guys like these type of tutorials or not. But, yeah, that's my basic edit, guys. And I will be right back. Thank you for watching this video today. My name is Andrew for GuthriePhotographyOnline.com. Make sure you don't forget to like and subscribe to this video for more content just like this. Have a great day. GuthriePhotographyOnline.com. I'm out of here.